Welcome back. Emmy-winning comedian Sarah Silverman has been making us laugh for years. There you are, often with humor we probably cannot repeat on morning TV, but you're going to be good today, right? Yeah. Yes. Alleg <laughs> allegedly. Now she's trending us to something new, guys, but it's also totally in her wheelhouse. A musical stage show based on her best-selling memoir of the same name. It's called The Bedwetter. Sarah, good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Now, you wrote a memoir. That's mm -hmm. hard enough. How did you get the idea to turn mm -hmm. it into not just a play or a stage show, but a musical? Mm -hmm. it, it was not my idea. I, about, <laughs> um, like, two, uh, 2012, my friend Adam Schlesinger came over my apartment and mm -hmm. with my book and said, this is a musical. Yeah. He started like going through the chapters, this is a song, you know, <laughs> and I was like, all right. And we started chipping away at it. And then we um, started working with uh, Joshua Harmon, brilliant, who, um, who is an amazing playwright. Mm -hmm. And we just have been collaborating and then I, I don't want to bring it down, but yeah, I, yeah. you know, um, we were going to open two years ago and COVID hit and Adam Schlesinger died of COVID oh, April geez. 1st, 2020. It was, wow. it was, yeah, just shocking. Yeah. And, um, so here we are two years later and it's come to fruition mm. and, uh, we got David Yazbek consulting mm. and he's, Amazing and uh, yeah, I can't believe it. Well, it's really happening I on like Saturday. It, I like that it focuses on the ten year old you. It's like a moment in time. Who is this who's the actress and tell us about oh. what you were like? There uh, th that's you oh, at my ten. mom you did that to oh. Oh, I, oh, these pictures. Yeah. It's like camp. I yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. So we have it all. Shy. <laughs> these are the, yeah, I was kind of the um hmm. The glue, I'm the youngest, yeah. and so I was kind of the joy. I made my family laugh, mm. and this, I'm not in the show. It's just mm -hmm. the year I'm 10. It takes place in the early 80s, and it's just our family and, and about a um, kid who is happy-go-lucky and, but falls apart, mm. and the family kind of falls apart, and, mm. um, and that's what it is. The the actress's name is Zoe Glick. She's mm -hmm. magic. She's she's <laughs> like in you know like when you first saw like Jodie Foster mm -hmm. and yeah. Taxi Driver. And yeah. You're like oh she's got an it. actor. Yeah. You know. She is like that. Mm -hmm. wow. I was I was laughing because you have three sisters in real mm -hmm. life, but only one sister yeah. in the play. How, I'm really sorry. Which sister? Or, or, I know. Is it like a bounce. combo? It, well, it's just Laura, but it is an amalgamation. Okay. I mean, listen, I told my family, like, it's loosely based on the family. Don't go yeah. in thinking, you know, and then if you go in with that mindset, you'll be amazed at how much is true. It's, it's yeah. a lot of it is absolutely true, but a lot is, you know, there are things that happened to me when I was seven or when I was 13. We make it all in the year that I'm 10, but it's, you know, um, it's a Jewish family in rural New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. It's um, uh, a family where words aren't taboo in the house, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and it's it's a time, a different time where yeah. mental health wasn't something that was in conversation at all. Yeah. And but you, it, and it's very funny. It's hard <laughs> jokes. It's hard comedy. What, is, it, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, it's I, I suppose if it was a movie, it would be rated R for language. Oh. But please bring your kids. <laughs> I, 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 you know, it's like when you saw and it's nothing like Bridesmaids, but mm -hmm. I think of it like. When you saw Bridesmaids, didn't you go like, I hope kids sneak into this? <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> is one of those. And I really think it's it's like that. You know, I think it's it's mm -hmm. um, special for, you know, I mean, 10 and up, I would. Yeah. But I also am have <laughs> not good boundaries. <laughs> I really think it's, it's uh, for the whole family well, in a lot of ways. Sarah, thank you. You're going to come back and visit Jenna and myself in the fourth hour. Do you know that you've got another hit? Okay, yeah. good, good. I'm happy. <laughs> the Bedwetter, by the way, begins previews April 30th, opens. May 23rd at the Linda Gross Theater right here in New York. Congratulations. She has a podcast, too. You have to ask I love, about that in the fourth hour. By the way, I was, I was listening to it this morning. I yeah. love the podcast. It's like therapy. Thank you. It's brilliant. Yeah. Not a licensed therapist. Yeah. Yeah. I am a comedian. But so. you play one on a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Sarah, thank you. Congrats Thanks. on that.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.